Today's tutorial is all about exporting a PNG file from Adobe Illustrator. I'll walk you through this step by step and show you how easy it is to achieve it. And if we haven't met yet, my name's Darren Goddard. Let's jump in the video now. So here we are in Illustrator. I've got my graphic here, which I've used Illustrator's generative AI to produce this. If you like the video on this, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to make one. Back to this video anyway. So literally what we want to do is export the PNG. So this white area here is transparent. So there's several ways to do this. So the first thing you need to do is go up to the file menu, go to export, and you've got three options. Export for screens is for presentations, which we won't cover in this video. Export as, and then save for web. So we'll hit export as. This will then give you a view of your computer. So you can choose where you want to save the file. So we'll just do that underscore export for this one. Hit export. And you're presented with some settings. So 72 ppi would be default for screen so if it's for web or anything like that but if you want a higher resolution for a presentation or something like that or it's going to be enlarged quite a lot then you want to go for a higher ppi and you can also enter your own ppi here so what we'll do is we'll change that to 300 for this example so under anti-aliasing we've got options here we've got none are optimized which will basically give you a nice smooth edge around the artwork or type so we'll hit art as this is art don't worry about interlaced and then you've got your background options so if you wanted to you could export with a white background or a black background but obviously in this instance we want transparent so we'll select transparent and we'll hit ok let it do its stuff and then we'll go to the desktop and there's our PNG. So as I'm on a Mac, I can push the space bar and I can see that this is all transparent. But what we'll do, we'll just open this in Photoshop. And there you can see you've got the transparent background. And if I go up to image, image size, you can see the resolution is 300. So we'll close that one down. Go back to Illustrator. So this time we're going to do it a different way as if it's going to go on a website so what we'll do we'll take the other option now we'll go export save for web and you see you get another interface here with lots of different options different file settings different format so jpeg gif and png so once again we'll select png because we want a png we'll click that for transparent background otherwise as you can see it's changed to a color so we'll make sure that's selected Ignore interlaced again. Here you can actually change the size, but for this example, we'll just leave it here and we'll save that. Once again, we'll call this underscore web for the name. Hit save. Go back to our desktop. Once again, you can see it's on a transparent background. We'll open that up in Photoshop once more. And there you can see we've got a nice transparent background and you can see the resolution is 72. As it's for web, it will default to 72 We're using this setting. So those are the easy steps of how to export a PNG from Illustrator. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial today. And I hope you've enjoyed the content here. And if you have, please consider giving me a like, subscribing to the channel for more video tutorials. And why don't you check out my playlist on Illustrator, InDesign and Adobe Photoshop. And if you'd like this in a PDF format, comment PNG in the box below and I'll send it over to you. Thanks and keep creating. Just before you go, check out my Work Faster in Illustrator video here with some great tips.